Hey everybody, it's the amazing Tachan, preferably known as Blue and Dog, and we are back to Season 1, Episode 2, Sam and Max Save the World, Culture Shock. No, not Culture Shock, sorry. Situation Comedy. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for oh, Chuck so Flagon like this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, uh, hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead, the audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Uh, sounds like something that'll be unchopped. A bunch of gunk in a dish. We'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummy rod. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummy ain't hot. Let's see. Buffalo chips. Handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Um. Lard. Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Uh, red dye number two. Sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Um, let's add. Uh. Sorry, my phone. Best full of squid tacos. Woo, that's my favorite western. Okay. And we'll try cooking it. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time, ta-da, you've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh, boy. Let's take it with us. Oh, boy. We created something disgusting. Hooray. Welcome once again to what's the food? Oh god. What are we making? Um a cake. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Um MSG. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Um... This is Dinko, not Dingo. Um... Sulfuric acid. You want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds, and your esophagus. I don't need your help, Max. And roofing tile can shards. Can you say enough about roofing tile shards? Obviously, we can. Um, tweed. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip: tweed isn't just for cooking; it also makes a great toupee. We've already got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. You ate and it and you're still alive? Of TV cooking show time. One gorgeous, delicious cake. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Now we got a cake. And I'm going to keep the cake. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Well, what did you expect? Bucket of lard? That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels! I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. Uh... 
Ugh, stink bugs everywhere. I think this is one of those cooler things they use on medical shows to transport donor spleens. What's it doing on the set of a cooking show? Some knowledge is better left unclaimed. Mm. Window. It's like a scene from Heidi. How does that bird manage to stay still for so long? That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. Um. This is quite realistic. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby show. Okay, so we don't want to cook. We already got our disgusting, disgusting cake. But we can give a cake to a certain person who was sad that someone forgot their birthday. All right. Why don't we go give him a cake? Yeah, cake. Do I want to sign up for this little thing first? If there's a way to do that? Lady. Hi. Hi. You got this stage set up awfully fast. You must have an army of minions to do your bidding. No, it's pretty much just me. I used to have a stagehand, but she went to watch the Myra show. All the more impressive then. Sawing the hole in the floor was the hard part. What's it like working with the soda poppers? Oh, the usual. They prance around to make unreasonable demands, but they knuckle under because they're desperate to be working at all. Same as the rest of us, really. Your Same as most people. outlook is oddly refreshing. What can you tell me about the show you're shooting here? Embarrassing Idol, Standard Drill, amateur singers with delusions of ability perform in front of a camera. Judges haggle them, and the public gets sick pleasure out of watching the carnage. Can I be a contestant? I often sing in the shower, and hardly anyone complains. Sure, we're pretty desperate for contestants at the moment. We had more, but they went in to watch the Irish show, and we never saw them again. Highly suspicious. What allegedly valuable prize is bestowed on the lucky winner? The winner gets a standard exploitation recording contract with a major label. If you're going to be exploited, be exploited by the best. Exactly. Can you give me some kind of insight into the arcane workings of the judging? It's pretty simple. All the judges have to agree on a winner. That's all there is to it. What kind of arbitrary criteria do they use to make their decisions? That's up to the individual judges. I channel the spirit of Hammurabi, the ancient Babylonian ruler. And then I pick you, Sam. Thanks, little buddy. That seems clear. Thank goodness. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. Well, I have this cake that I'm going to give. Not to Sam. Sam, you're in the way. Get out of my way. Give it to Wizard. How about some cake? Cake? Oh boy! Perfect for my birthday! There's no tomatoes in it, right? Nope. Ew. <laughs> Sam's face. Uh, that was delicious. And a little bit scary. You eat like Max. Remind me again how you go about judging a singing performance? I listen very carefully to the tonal qualities of the singer's voice. And then I vote for my brother Peepers. Commendably impartial of you. Happy birthday. Thanks again. What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? 
I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. Yeah, please. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing! Or I'll be out of commission for hours! Are you sure it's not just the cucumbers? Enjoy your judging. Whoa! Uh -huh. I need to not move this when I'm recording. Watch me fail! Next contestant, Sam. Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call. Love has a thorny backside. Love has a thorny backside. <laughs> May the starfish justice not impure. She's at brunch today with some baboon. <laughs> Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. You're not that bad. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peeper's is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peeper's is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned Man. for more exciting action after this. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. Mm -hmm. Hey, peepers. What do you want? Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? What? I told you. I don't get that song. Okay. I'll I need a, I need a million dollars so I can fake that thing. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here last week. Ew. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Okay. Fascinating. I'm going to try singing again. Acid pit. What's with the pool of water? It's acid, Brain Freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? And you had to walk around just so you could say that? Great. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <clears throat> Shiny like a new mylar balloon. She's the headline, page one, the tribute. Blowing like a zephyr on a dune. Yeah, I didn't do well. Nice. First, still. Yeah. I. But people. Okay. Remember, folks, on embarrassing idol sighting action. Um. Crap! 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 Maybe I should try the show again.
let's have another go at that. See if you can squeeze in some gross out humor this time. Gross out humor, huh? Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Let there be hey. light. We're gonna see the adorable Open chicken up. again. Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. There we go. Life of the party. There we go, chicken! Hello, chicken! What are you doing? Uh -huh. I know you got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? The Prince of Upper Thrombosis. This is the Crown Prince of Upper Thrombosis, here in the U.S. on the Finding Tour. Note his excellent ceremonial headgear. Oh, a prince? Golly gosh, I don't think I've ever met a real-life prince before. Of course, I am descended from royalty myself, but on my mother's cousin's side, it was the back of Oh, boy. So, I don't know what else to do. Goodness, who left this lying here? Um Oh god. Sag, what's that? That's how they say goodbye in thrombosis. It's also how they say, bring me a pot of scorched grasshopper thoraxes, but that's probably not what he means this time. I see. Oh, uh, well, goodbye then. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Can we start again? Cut! <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Oh, great. Um, I'll be back with you guys. I'm gonna experiment with it just a little bit more.